Good evening. I'm Reverend Chris Carlgaard, and I am the pastor of the Lutheran Church of Our Savior in Owen Sound, Ontario. The congregation is a member of the Eastern Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. Welcome to our Advent Vesper series. Tonight and next week, we will be providing a short midweek service that focuses on waiting, preparation, and longing as we anticipate Jesus' coming into the world. Each service will begin with a brief dialogue. You are invited to respond to each call with the words, Amen, come Lord Jesus. The Spirit and the Church cry out, Amen, come Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The creation pleads. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Our service continues with the first three verses of the hymn, All Earth is Hopeful, which is number 266 in the Evangelical Lutheran Book of Worship. You are invited to sing the verses with members of the LCOS choir. If you cannot sing along, you are invited to enter into a time of reflection. I invite you to join me in prayer. O King of the nations, the ruler they long for, the cornerstone uniting the people, come and save us whom you have formed out of clay. Amen. Our service continues with a reading from the book of Psalms. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become, become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Our second reading this evening is from the second chapter of Paul's letter to the Ephesians. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth called the uncircumcision by those who were called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh of you, by human hands. Remember that you were at the time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of the promise, 
having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with saints and also members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place of God. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. I would like to offer the following for reflection this evening. The verse that accompanies, accompanies this antif antiphony contains a multiplicity of images. Longed for ruler, uniting cornerstone, creating potter. This is no ordinary king. He is a unifier, fashioner, heart's desire. This antiphony calls on a ruler who is simply not capable, but who is, in, is the place where our panting souls can finally rest. You are invited to reflect upon this during the following taze. You may also join the choir as they offer the hymn, Deep Peace, from the hymnal, All Creation Sings.
Our service continues with the litany. O Most High God, you draw near to us in Advent shadows and light. Hear us as we pray for those who are in need this night. The response for each prayer petition is, Lord, have mercy. For all who are captive to suffering, grief, or sin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the lonely, the exiled, and the imprisoned, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who long to see the face of Christ revealed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. As the night, night grows longer, may God draw you into mystery. As the days grow colder, may Christ invite you into stillness. As twilight grows deeper, may the Spirit instill in you the peace that passes all understanding. And may the blessing of the Holy Trinity, one God, rest upon you as you await the advent of our Lord. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is near. Thanks be to God.